OnDemed is a device that measures your electromagnetic frequency, something that is really not taught in medical school, this approach to illness. Although that technology is used in other ways, for example, using the MRI to visualize the body is employing electromagnetic frequencies. Uh, the interesting thing about OnDemed, if, if, if you're looking at how alternatives in, in medicine have been used through the years, you may know the name Royal Rife. He was a, an inventor. And one of the things he invented, he invented two major uh, uh, pieces of equipment. One was the light microscope. And what was unique about his microscope was it was stronger than any microscope of the day. And probably as, as strong as any light microscope. So the difference today. between a light microscope and an electron microscope is that an electron microscope, although it can increase the size of the object you're looking at, it has to be dead because it's looking at it in a vacuum. So you can't see live viruses, you can't, you can't see live tissue. Whereas with a light microscope, you can. So what Royal Rife did was he created a device, what we'll call a frequency generator, it's known as the Rife machine, that would cause a vibration, or namely an electromagnetic field that would vibrate at a certain frequency, and he would look at the different uh, cells or the diseases in the, in the tissue and he would find a frequency that would cause that cell to explode, so to speak. It would just cause it to disintegrate. So he had found different frequencies to treat different problems. And uh, the mainstream medicine got a hold of that invention and nobody's ever heard of it since. So using that uh, technology of electromagnetic fields, or at least acknowledging that they're present. I mean, we know we're electrical beings. If you, have, if you ever had a, uh, an EKG, uh, you know that there's electromagnetic frequencies in our body. You see it on the, uh, on the EKG. You also see it on the EEG when they look at the brain waves. Well, the, uh, the OnDemand is, is a, a unique device because it measures your own electromagnetic fields. It can determine which ones are abnormal, and then it communicates with the body and corrects the, the abnormal fields. Now what happens when you do that? Well, the patient, again, functions better. This is not too dissimilar, for example, if you, if you think about acupuncture. When they try to improve uh, the flow of energy through the body, you know, through the meridians, uh, this does it in a, in a different fashion, just going right to the underlying uh, uh, science, and, you know, namely the electromagnetic field. So uh, the undermed is has been shown to be very effective in treating illness, uh, diseases, uh, pain, uh, all different types of pain. So it's really quite amazing. I remember having a patient come in, uh, the daughter was very skeptical. Her uh, mother, you know, in her late 80s, was just feeling very tired, no energy, listless. So we brought her back for a treatment and the daughter is watching and she sees her mother just brighten up with energy during the treatment. So. It's just amazing that uh, this approach that is not really taught in medical school can be so effective. It's used in Europe. This device originates in Germany. And if you think of it, you have to really think about why we're sick. I can say with complete certainty that it's never a lack of a drug. There's no such thing as a drug deficiency. So what makes us sick? Uh, I'll, I'll point to the reasons right now. Contamination or toxin exposure. So you know, I mentioned heavy metals, but we're exposed to lots of... Uh, Toxins in the environment, pesticides, herbicides, all the chemicals that come out of uh, factories. So those are in the vi environment. Poor nutrition, another cause of why we get sick. A major cause that is very difficult to measure is stress. You know, who's not under stress? Uh, but that's a major cause of illness. Uh, lack of uh, exercise, uh, which sort of goes along with stress, because if you exercise, that's a form of stress relief. But still, you have that. Now, the main things are no. Are we to assume that uh, electro uh, you know, microwave ovens and uh, cellular phones and all the other, other electronics in the, in the environment, the you know, fluorescent bulbs, have absolutely no effect, even though they're cr creating electromagnetic energy fields that are interacting with our bodies? Well, the answer is, of course, they have effects on our body. But no one is addressing that.